Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Stefan. What's up guys? We've actually had a lot of opportunity to use a lot of 3D printers and one of our favorites is the Lowell's bot. We've printed a lot of really cool stuff, yeah. things that have really enhanced our experience in the hobby. So we want to share some of that stuff with you guys. So the first thing that we're gonna to talk to you guys today about is camera mounts. Now you can use different types of cameras. So you got GoPros, run cams, micro cameras, all the above. So this would be like for a GoPro, right? Yeah, so you can put a GoPro there, you mount it like that, so you put why it on is your it, quad. Why is it angled? So, so as you can see with a GoPro mount, there's different degrees that you can have the angle be at. When you're like a racer, right? Mm -hmm. a, a racer's going super fast, so you need He's more camera light. tilt so you're not looking at the ground or looking at the sky, you're looking right. straight in front of you. Okay. Now with beginners, you're looking at more of like a, maybe a 10 to 30 degree camera tilt because it's actually harder to fly with more camera tilt. So like with Alex, when he chases planes, he wants to chase planes with less of camera tilt so he has a wider envelope of speed to get there. Yeah, and it's not just racing quads that you can make these camera mounts for. We've made them for our MiG-3 for, mm -hmm. the, for the tail camera mm -hmm. and then also for the Gremlin as well. We have that one here, right? Yep, a little micro camera mount. So really any kind of camera mount you need to make, you can make it. The average print time for something like a GoPro mount is gonna be about an hour and a half to two hours. And then for like the micro camera mounts, for like the Gremlin or the tail cam, you're looking at like 20 to 30 minutes. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is not necessarily an object, but it actually is the materials that you use to print the object. Right, there's all kinds of different materials you can use, different right. brittleness or softiness or squishiness or stretchy. You got PLA, you got ABS, you got TPU, you even have things called Ninja Flex. The hobby is, is growing, the 3D print hobby is growing in so many different ways. They're coming out with new materials, as well as upgrading the original materials that you're using even nowadays. Nice. Now a couple different common materials that you might use is PLA. Now this one is more brittle, but you can use it for like firewalls and mm -hmm. things like that. And then you have the TPU, which isn't as brittle. A lot of people like to use this for the camera mounts because it has a little more flex to it, a little more cushion. Mm -hmm. It takes away some of the vibration that you might get when you're filming. And it also helps you out if you ever crash. So one thing to note when you're working with all these different materials is that some are gonna print faster and slower. So the, the flexier ones, the, the TPUs, they're gonna print about half the speed as like a PLA or an ABS. So another thing that's really helped this out is to 3D print the landing gear mount. This makes it super simple and easy for you to just take it, slide it in, glue it, and then you're done. So typically we use PLA for this mm -hmm. and uh, we need it to be more rigid and uh, it takes about one hour to print out. Yeah. So grab a good book. Speaking of scratch building, one of the more difficult components to make would be like your control horns and also the firewalls. There's a lot of precision cutting and drilling that mm -hmm. goes into it. That's where 3D printing can really help you out. So all of these simple element accessories are gonna take about 30 minutes to print and be made out of PLA. And you're also gonna find all the links down below in the description. Another cool thing you can use 3D printing for is to add realistic accessories to your airframe. From exhaust stacks, to spinners, to engine parts, and even to like little busts that you put on the top of your airplane, like a little pilot, pilot bust. Yeah. And one other thing to keep in mind when you're printing these accessories for your plane is you want them to be as light as possible. Right. The cool thing about it is you can actually change the fill. So you don't want your plane to be super heavy. Right. Most of these smaller items are gonna be 15 to 20 minutes. Some of the larger ones are gonna take 30 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half. Now our community has been really great, really instrumental in bringing us new ideas for all kinds of different accessories and we'll have links to those things below. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is gimbal covers. Pretty straightforward, you pop these things on your gimbals so you can take your transmitter anywhere without it getting damaged, which is really cool. Chad made these, the biohazard ones, but Tiny Whoop makes them. There's all kinds of different designs out there, so check them out. So the print time on these is gonna be about five and a half hours, and you're gonna use the material TPU. And it's gonna take a little bit longer to print because TPU is that squishy material, unlike PLA or ABS. Now lately we've been incorporating a lot of 3D printed accessories into our speed build kits, and one of those is the split wedge. Right. So the cool thing about this is that the split, the camera itself, is not only an FPV camera, but it's also an HD camera. You can actually take this and put this on pretty much any design that you want, but we've been using it mainly for the FT Dart and the FT Sparrow. So the print time on this is gonna be about an hour and 45 minutes, and you're gonna be using PLA as the material. So let's talk about bevel cutting for a second. Have you ever been watching one of our build videos and you see Josh Bixler cut a perfect bevel into the control surface of this plane? I have. And you think, how does he do that? He can do it with his eyes closed. He can do it in his sleep, but I cannot. So that's why we've printed a bunch of these bevel cutters, which is really handy. Gets you the perfect bevel cut every time. You do have to assemble this thing. You're gonna have to put a screw in there and assemble and put and the blade. blade in there. Uh, the print time is gonna be about an hour and 20 minutes and you're gonna be using PLA as well, which is really cool. So this is just a few things that have really helped us out a lot, helped our experience in the hobby and hopefully it'll be helpful for you as well. If you've designed anything or printed anything that you've loved, it's helped you in the hobby, put it down below so we can see what you guys made. 
want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We release several videos every week, so you don't want to miss a single one. And we'll see you guys next time. So that, uh, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs>